Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give our praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Raka Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers in the hours and the bowels, teaching his word in sincerity and in all honesty. We're the Hebrews, the lights on the Great Millstone Jamaica camp. Another weekend again, you know, Saturday, we're prophesying the downfall of the society and the ushering of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, first and foremost, what I want to speak about is the fact that um, the chariot. Thing we are talking about not too long. Um, chariot man, because that's another key part of prophecies, you know. Over the years, with, with people, you know, what, what, what should I say? Back in slavery, where people used to sing songs such as Sweet, Sweet, uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariots, you know, and them, them, them songs. But you remember one thing you used to read out the lyrics we used to teach? You used to read out the lyrics, you know, the, 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 the Google, swing, swing, swing Low, Sweet Chariot, sing, and Basically, old time people, when I was growing up, we used to call them old time people, but the Asians used to um, teach, I used to say that this, um, fly, uh, there's a thing called flying saucer. You know, at first, at first when I heard it, you know, I just hear it and I didn't say it was lie, I didn't say it was true. It, 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 it was just something that, that said, you know. But over the years, you know, you come, you, you, you come into the knowledge of the scriptures, the scriptures speak about it, you know, and, um, then, like for example, like for us, the, the, the earlier brothers in this camp, you know, our conviction really was them chariots, man, because we, we witnessed a whole lot of sightings, you know, over the years. Some abnormal things, you know, like, like breaking the laws of, of, of physics, you know, the, the, the object go this way and, it's, and stop sudden and move the other way and stop sudden go this, you know, which, you know, a plane can't do that. You know, it, uh, not even an um, uncle, um, they call the bird, the hummingbird is the only bird who basically can fly and just stop and come back, uh, you know? And that's why them say a hummingbird, um, them say, a, a, what call it, magnetism make a hummingbird fly. If you go in um, science, them say magnetism the, 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 is not actually the wing because the, the size of the wing is smaller than the body, which cannot lift the body. So it's, so scientists say it's magnetism that makes the hummingbird um, fly, but that they like the bees. But we know that that um, behind all of that is the heavenly Father, you know, the Creator of all things. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and and He's the best mathematician, the best physicist, the best chemist, you know, the best of all. You understand? And these chariots are uh, um, um, different. Uh, these are these craft, you know, are from the spiritual world, man. You understand? And they have the ability to get smaller, bigger, you know, to, to, to go as fast as light or faster than the speed of light, you know, and they can split portals and move from dimension to dimension. You understand? And these things gonna be here um, in, in abundance, see not now we're in the last days, man. We're, we're gonna bring out some scriptures and whatever we have, you know, we're gonna bring them out and get the lesson going, man. Yeah? Yeah, why uh, Isaiah 66 verse 15 mm -hmm. For behold the Lord, the hour will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind Right, so the Lord's going to come with fire and with his chariots Now the word car, it actually comes from chariots You understand? No, we can remember people used to scoff at us when they speak about the chariots of Israel right? Personally, me and my uncle used to call me chariot man You understand? Because it's, we've been speaking about these chariots But the scriptures here speak of the chariots man So the Lord will come with his what? It would fire and his chariots like a whirlwind swiftly, man. Go ahead. And to render his anger with fury mm -hmm. and his rebuke with flames of fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Because these chariots, when you go to Revelation 1 verse 7, he also tell you that out of the Lord's mouth is going to come a what? A two-edged sword. Which that two-edged sword is actually speaking about that a fire. You know, that's gonna come out of that chariot, man. That major um, fathership, that fathercraft that he's gonna flew upon the society with. You know, there's gonna be a, a major thing. You know, actually, when we were prophesying last time, we kind of touched a point here um, as well. You know, about the chariots. See, because um, right now you have a whole lot of what we call abnormal activities that take place in the earth. Right now in Argent, Argent, Argentina, seeing you have this massive snow. The snow storm, this freak storm, I bury the sheep, you know, all the livestock, them I get buried. Star um snow as high as five feet, 11 inches, you know, I bury livestock, I kill them, 
people, the, the farmers have to be out there digging out sheep and shit. <laughs> you know, if you see the videos, digging out horses to get them, you know, to survive people crying and shit. So we know that these activities are controlled by um, the angels of the Lord because the angels of the Lord, they are the ones that um, are in those chariots, man. They are the ones that govern whatever prophetic activity is supposed to be taking place on the earth, man. That was good, chat. The chariots of the, of, of the Lord are 20,000, mm -hmm. even thousands of angels. Uh -huh. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the Holy Spirit. Right, so, so the chariots of the Lord is many, basically. You know, I say the Lord is among them because in the return, in the return of our King, of our Lord, you know, you're going to have a whole lot of angels, man. And Yahweh Shai, our Lord Himself, which is the right hand of the Father, He is going to be there. You know, as it is said, um, um, Re um, Revelation 6, it, uh, Revelation, well, Revelation 6, yeah, it tell about that white horse that went forth, what? Conquering and to conquer. No, that is, that is a prophecy when our Lord is going to return back on that craft, man. You understand? To subdue, to subdue whosoever is on the earth that is ruling. And he's going to come with his angels, man. Because remember, the Lord said to Peter, if this was my kingdom, then my servants would fight. Because 2,000 years ago, that wasn't the Lord's kingdom. And the Lord knew that the great falling away had to come, which the Apostle Paul speak about, and uh, the slavery and all these things had to come to pass. So therefore the Lord knew that that was the time for that man. So, so he, 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 he basically gave up himself for the, the purpose um, to buy back the elect to the Father, you know, to, so we can become at peace with our power again, you know. And he knew, he knew that upon his second return, his servants gonna fight, man. You know, see the scripture? Oh, it's a Revelation 6 and 1. And I saw when the, when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as the heard noise of thunder, mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the poor bees saying, Come and see. Mm -hmm. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him, said on, said on him, and a back bow and a crown was uh, was given unto him. He had, a, he had a bow and a crown was given unto him, which is our Lord. Man, go ahead. And he went forth conquering and, and to conquer. Uh -huh. And when he had opened this, uh, say, uh, yeah, 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 right? So yeah. the Lord went forth conquering and to conquer. See, because yeah. when when you when you um when you read um Daniel in the, in the prophecy, you can't find us picture from here. When they took the son of man to the ancients of days, see, see when you when you read the prophecy, man, all kingdom was given unto our Lord already. It's just that our dominion was given to him. It's just that the one on the earth he haven't um take have taken it as yet, you know, because oh you, well, you know that people down there still calling in the name of the Lord Jesus, Ahaya, Yashaya. You know, um, your plate, your girl, mm -hmm. seeing all That's different cool. names, Christ, seeing because the, the name of Yahweh Bashem Yashai is not magnified through the earth as it is supposed to be, you know, okay. to, to the extent. Yes, 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 go ahead. Right. Daniel 7, verse 13. I saw in night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man mm -hmm. came to the clouds of heaven. Which are the chariots, go ahead. And came to the ancient of this, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion mm -hmm. and glory and a kingdom and all people, nations and languages should serve him. Mm -hmm. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Yeah, and, and this happened. You know, the Lord received a dominion and a kingdom which shall not pass away. But however, we, 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 we don't see the implementation of the ways of the Lord being pushed here, which shows that this is not the kingdom of heaven. This is not the kingdom of the Most High. No, these Christians would say the kingdom of heaven is in the spiritual realm. Now, to some degree, yeah, that's that's the original kingdom, but it's gonna translate on the earth. That's the reason why in the prayer the Lord said, "Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven." You know, so so just as how how um, Moses got the specks out of to make the temple, all that Moses saw was actually something that he, what he saw. You know, in the chariot when he was speaking to the Lord, it, it was a heavenly thing that he saw that he, he came on the earth to to, um, to basically um, put on the earth. You know, so that that physical that the, the physical 
what, what should I say? The physical part of the, of the kingdom is what we get from the spiritual part of the kingdom. Because just, from it, just as all Yahawasha is the head in the heavens, guess what? He's going to be the head here. He's, he's our Lord in the heavens, you know? Under the Father. Well, it's the same thing here, man. In, in Corinthians, it tell us, say, oh, shalom, shalom. In, in Corinthians, it tell us, say, um, when I don't, when I, when I, when I don't, they can't bring a scripture for me. It tell us, say, oh, um, every man will be in their own order, and then Yahusha is going to turn over the kingdom to the most side. Come, yeah, the scripture. Bring out the Yahweh. Oh, that's over point. This is um, Hebrews 8 and verse 5. It says, We serve unto the example and shadow of the heavenly things as Moses mm -hmm. was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. For for a see, right, he see it. He, he see it, he, it's like mm -hmm. that thou make all things according to the pattern shown unto thee mm -hmm. um, in the mouth. Exactly, make it according to the pattern shown unto him in, 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 in the, the, the chariot. You understand? So the more sign of those no, no, no step on random. Yahweh Bashim Hashem no step on random. It's a, it's, a spe, it's a specific way for the Lord want this thing to happen. See, and you notice how, how the Heavenly Father turn this thing upside down, put the earth out of course, nature out of course, everything get twisted. See, and he's going to bring it back in its correct way. You know? Scripture? Right. First Corinthians 15, and I'll start from verse 20. But now is Yahweh shall risen from the dead mm -hmm. and become the first fruits of them that slept. Can. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. Mm -hmm. For as in Adam all die, even so in Yahweh Shai shall all be made alive. Can. But every man in his own order. Every man in his own order. Because you have Yahweh Shai, you know, um, um, the apostles, you know, the rest of the elect, you know, the rest of the dungeon of the 4,000 coming down. Every man in his own order, man. See, and the order was already here from before the earth. See, so it's just going to be a reinstate of the order here on the earth in the kingdom, man. What? But every man in his own order. Uh -huh. Yahweh Shai the first fruits, mm -hmm. afterward they that are Yahweh Shai that is coming. Right, afterwards they that are Yahweh Shai that is coming, which is the elect, man. Okay. You understand? Go ahead. Then come at the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, mm -hmm. even the Father when he shall have put down our rule and our authority and power. Exactly. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. Mm -hmm. So he must reign until he has what? Put our enemies under his feet because it's an order. Because ultimately, ultimately, the kingdom is the most size kingdom. Man. You understand? All of this construct, the reason why Yahweh Shai O Lord exists, the reason why we exist, the reason why Esau and Edom exist, in, in Revelation 4, in 4 chapter, it tells us that these things were created for the most size pleasure. You understand this is for the most size entertainment that he we are his name might be declared throughout all the earth and he can get all the glory the praise and the fame you understand so when 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 yahweh shai you know because the heavenly father yahweh shai came he exalted yahweh our father you understand and um yahweh exalted him by giving him a crown you know and he is gonna come and exalt his servants that's here and to the hen that is that's exalting him and he's gonna give them what crowns up on their head right, and, yeah go ahead right so said, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is dead God. for he has put all things under his feet mm -hmm. but when he said all things are put under him mm -hmm. it is manifest that he is ex accepted right which did put all things under him mm -hmm. and when all things shall be subdued unto him then shall the Son also be subject unto him that put all things under him, Tawada. that Yahweh uh -huh. may be all in all. And that the most that Yahweh may be all in all. Because when Yahweh shall come and put the earth in order, he's going to turn it over to who? Yahweh. Because that's the vibe. See? That, everything on his proper standing, man. That's the vibration. Yahweh Baasham Yahweh Shai. That's the reason why when we open up the lesson, we say all praises to Yahweh Baasham Yahweh Shai. You know, because you, you don't know pass, you don't, furthermore, we don't know pass um, the order among camps to get to the apostles, man. You, you understand? Well, it's the same thing in the kingdom. It, it go back to Yahweh Shai. We don't, we, we now just pass King David to Yahweh Shai. To the, you know? It, it doesn't work like that, man. You understand? It's a, it's a perfect order. It's a proper order, man. And Yahweh Shai, our Lord, is going to turn all dominion to the most, I which the most I rule in, rule in all, man. He, um, Daniel chapter 4, tell us that the most I rule it in the kingdom of men. You can bring that out to Papa Pasha. Yeah? See? The heavenly Father is, is, he is the true King of Kings and Lord of Lords, man. You understand? The most high. Cannot be compared to creation, man. He's the creator 
a far things. I but see, just like um, you can say the friend, just like uh, an ancient king sending his son the prince to go out and conquer in his name. Can the, the parable, the parable of the uh, the, the rich man sent for his his steward. Right. Uh, yeah. See. King. Exactly. And then send out his son, which is him like right. it. Exactly. Which is an extension of himself. Him. Mm -hmm conquer on behalf of him here. It's like if you are a king and you have a son, that son is an extension of you, you. and a reflection of you. Because you are going to teach him, you are going to bring him up in like your no, will, yes. your ideologies, mm -hmm. your opinions, so that when him go out, he will fulfill your will. And you have, you have a child with a perfect son, because him fulfill him father will to the teeth. So we now strive to be like you know, our, our child, like our child to be sons where the father are going to say, oh, I'm going to say, this is my so, beloved son. So in in my world, that's what I'm striving for. Right? Definitely. So we can get that down that crown as well. Exactly. Yes, exactly.